And what I want to do next is just show you uh, how, why the, uh, this turns out to be a chi-squared. So if you recall from the goodness of fit uh, statistic that chi-squared is equal to the sum of, sorry, sum of oi minus ei, the observed value minus the expected value squared over ei. Well, I think actually we had the ei inside the summation. Okay? So we had this as the chi-squared. What I just showed you on the previous slide is that chi-squared equals m minus 1 vmr. Let's expand the vmr for a moment. So that equals m minus 1, and vmr is s squared over x bar. Let's expand s squared. So it equals m minus 1. Uh, we can move the x bar over here for now. And s squared is the sum of xi minus x bar squared over m minus 1. And these two m minus 1's cancel off. And what we're left with is the sum of xi minus x bar squared over x bar. And because x bar is the same, it's the x bar is essentially a constant, we can put it inside the summation. So we get xi minus x bar squared over x bar. Okay, now you see that what we have down here is very similar to what we have over here. Now remember, oi is the observed value. It's the observed frequency inside category i. And ei is the expected frequency in category i. And the trick is to realize here that this xi, so xi is the observed frequency of points, points in quadrat i. And if the data are random, we expect to see x bar observations in each grid cell. So we expect to see, so this is the expected number of points in a quadrat. So essentially, when we, uh, what we've seen here is that when we multiply VMR times m minus 1, uh, we end up with the chi-squared, where the formula of the chi-squared statistic over here matches exactly with the goodness of fit chi-squared statistic that we learned in the last lecture.